Welcome to Commerce Computer Private Limited, e-learning program of hardware networking. We are discussing about uh, Windows 10 OS environment. Mm, we have completed part 1 and part 2. So we are uh, going through all the uh, uh, special applications features available in Windows 10 and uh, creating uh, awareness for all the users who are all e precious in the industry or uh, residential users. They wanted to use Windows 10. So by going through this particular slide, you will come to know the features available and options available in Windows 10 and you will be able to work with Windows 10 freely. So let's move on to the part 3. So in part 3 we are continuing with the backup and recovery. So this is very important tool uh, which is required in the uh, industry like um, whatever work you are doing you have to take a backup otherwise uh, you will be losing the data. We can set up a schedule. In case of corporate environment user desktop backup is not recommended or not done because you will have lacks of users so taking backup of lack of user data is not possible so instead what they will say uh, if you belong to a project all project data should be stored in a particular folder share folder available in the server which is created for your project alone so that will be secured in a secured environment others cannot open the folder only the project team can open the folder and um, they will be taking a backup in the server daily monthly weekly so anytime you wanted to restore, you can restore it. But in case of standalone computer, or uh, small organizations cannot have that kind of infrastructure. So you can go for taking backup of uh, your local computer data. You can schedule it so that um, uh, automatically it will happen and you can collect it weekly once. So go to um, settings and go to backup, add a drive. So you have a removal storage drive available. Maybe you have a external hard disk. So you can uh, store it or it's, this size seems to be a pen drive so very small in size right 2 GB so it's a pen drive I mean 4 GB 2 GB free space is available it's a pen drive only so you can add it so whatever uh, backup you are going to take it will get uh, stored in the uh, pen drive itself. So selecting the uh, additional space. Um, go to control panel, um, select the backup option, set up backup. So it is prompting to set up backup now. So where you have to store the data, you can choose it. Um, what do you want to do backup? Let Windows choose or we can choose. Suppose the project team is storing or you are storing the data in a particular folder. So you can choose the folder. If you ask Windows to do it, it will take uh, uh, all the other important data also it will take more space um, you wanted to take only the data which you work right so keep it in a particular folder and select that option so that you can take backup of that particular folder alone and choose the schedule for uh, the backup so you can uh, choose daily weekly monthly and all in that case that external drive should be available uh, always in your system attached to the system so that it will keep continuing taking the backup Next is um, creating a system image. So this is also a kind of uh, uh, backup only because if anything happens to the image, you can restore it from the image itself, right? So with all the environment, uh, we'll be able to get the um, Windows 10 along with the applications uh, things. So uh, if anything goes wrong, we can um, install the OS and um, uh, make the system ready. But what about the applications? You will not be able to do it, right? So if you have this option, you can also restore the uh, system from a particular uh, uh, status. So create a system image. So it is prompting where to create. Where do you want to save the backup? So you are uh, providing the option. Then the system image will be created. So this we can do monthly once at least. So that the latest uh, things can be stored in the uh, backup. Resetting the PC. So another alternate Windows 10 offers you for system recovery is uh, resetting the PC but this um, this option it will take you to the old status okay so suppose you are working in the system monthly once you are saving uh, the data and suppose you are having a problem in the mid of the month so whatever state you had it when you are taking the system state you will be going back so uh, you will be losing the data but at least you will get uh, some status right um, with the along with the applications you will get 
So it has both advantage and disadvantage. So reset PC. So you, you can um, select this option for setting up the recovery option. So it will keep the uh, timestamp. So when you are selecting the restoration, so it will take the timestamp and restore the data to the uh, system. Advanced option is um, available in Windows 10. So there are several advanced options. So you can see it here like system restore, system image recovery, auto repair, command prompt and startup settings. So startup settings is very important because um, you can choose which are the files need to be uh, added into the boot boot option. I mean uh, once the windows is getting loaded along with that what is that needed. So in the initial stage itself you can filter it and that will be useful for you. Projects part run. Um, so this is uh, the project actually Microsoft wanted to execute but later uh, this browser is um, uh, changed as a edge so now whatever we are seeing as a edge browser this is uh, from the spartan only so the name is not used it is used as a different name apps management so you can manage your apps uh, once you install it will become uh, uh, available in the start menu you can go for sequential option or alphabetical order also you can do it based on your uh, interest you can just make it uninstalling applications you can do it by selecting a uh, uh, different options so from the start menu uh, go to settings and go to control panel and uh, from there you can uh, just uninstall the applications or uh, from the start menu itself you can uh, you can select the application and right click you can do the uninstallation so that will be also very easy for uh, doing the uninstallation so from the settings menu, menu how to do the uninstallation go to settings menu um, select the apps and features and type the app which you wanted to do uninstallation so Otherwise, you can search it from the um, bottom and you can do the uninstallation. So, uninstalling from the control panel. So, programs and features select it and um, select the uh, program you wanted to uninstall, and you have the uninstall command button in the top screen. So, you can just click on it, the um, program will get uninstalled. So, next is email management how you are going to configure the Outlook client. Microsoft client is Outlook, right? So how you are going to configure the Outlook client in Windows 10? So once you click on the Outlook, it is the initial setup option. It is prompting. So what is that you wanted to do? Whether uh, it is account from Outlook.com or uh, Exchange server in your premises, you have Exchange server, you want to configure that account or any other account you wanted to configure. So I'm choosing, um, if I'm choosing Microsoft account, I can enter the um, uh, username and password available with Microsoft so Outlook will get configured with Microsoft account I can see the options over here so email configuration for Outlook is um, so I have an on-premises account so I wanted to configure with my own uh, exchange server so what I'm going to do is I can open up the uh, Outlook program and uh, select email account administration uh, account information and uh, you choose the manual option don't go for automatic go for a manual option because you have to specify your own service so you can choose the pop or imap so both are uh, required for sending and receiving mails so the difference between imap and pop3 is um, in case of imap if i have imap server so once I read a mail from um, IMAP server, so it keeps the copy locally as well as uh, in the server. So I'll have dual copy. So if I wanted to browse um, uh, through mobile and I wanted to check the mails online, I can do it in case of IMAP. In case of POP3, once I download the mail uh, from uh, my online server to the uh, local client, the mail uh, content will get deleted. So if at all I wanted to check anything online, I cannot do it. So normally uh, all the corporate environment they use IMAP for uh, uh, storing the mails. Suppose if at all I am deleting some of the mails in the inbox in Outlook, it will get sync and it will get deleted in the IMAP server also. So whatever I do in Outlook it is getting syncing. So deletion, addition, everything will get synced with um, uh, IMAP. So configuration simple. Uh, so you have to mention the name, email address account details and uh, the incoming and outgoing so for incoming you are going to use IMAP and outgoing you are going to use SMTP simple mail transfer protocol uh, 
um, you can find the more options also so what kind of authentication required you can provide the authentication um, so if at all you are using same uh, authentication you can select it and the port numbers here uh, some organization may use different port numbers um, you can uh, get the details from your list of administrators and uh, provide the port number here and uh, with that uh, the outlook configuration is getting completed and you will be able to get uh, mails and you can start sending mails so next option is uh, system tray so system tray is useful to um, open and see the things quickly so for setting up this thing you have to go to control panel and settings so you can choose the option notification icons and you can find out all the notification here so you can switch it on switch it off whichever is required not required but uh, having all the notification in the system tray will occupy more space in your memory and it will become congested in the uh, desktop environment so ensure we are choosing only the limited numbers media management uh, for uh, uh, movies uh, this is the option given for managing your uh, media files how to store and uh, how to collect it so uh, it will be useful for viewing uh, movies and other stuff right for entertainment this option is provided so with this uh, we are completing the windows 10 uh, office and windows 10 environment um, hope this is clear for you thank you very much